Good morning, everyone. Welcome to North Dakota today. Happy Friday. He just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I thought he was going to hit me. <laughs> I don't like no, what you just said I'm before so we started. Because it is Friday. I can't believe this is about to come out of my mouth. But so I get out of my car to come into work today. You know, we park in the parking lot. It wasn't that cold. What? It wasn't that bad For walking someone who in. was reporting outside all morning, I'm going to say it is that cold out there. <laughs> I was like walking in going, wait a second, I'm actually not that freezing right now. Something's wrong I was, with me. I was really cold this but morning. We have, I still haven't the, warmed up. Like, Yeah, you had. I, I you had still, for like, what, 10, 15 on, minutes like, a shot or what? Yeah, usually when we do live shots outside in the morning time, they usually kind of, and they, they're really good about trying to help us out. Like, okay, I'm skipping this thing so that we can be in the car for five more <laughs> minutes, but you're out there and you got to get yourself up and ready. And so we were like waiting till we got a two minute queue. We were like, they were like, okay, two minutes. Like, you got to get out there. And you're like, okay, now we can run out there. <laughs> But then you're standing out there, and during one of them, my photographer was like, "Yeah, you could see your nose getting redder by the second. Do you find too when I like when we used to do the Olympic show outside, like your lips start to not work, and you can't mm -hmm. really say words. Well, you and can't you're like... breathe as well because it's so stinking <laughs> yeah. cold, and so you're trying to talk fast so you can get out of being outside. But then again, you have so much information you have to say, and then your mouth just starts to kind of freeze. I will say that when I got out of my so car cold. this morning, and you took that first breath, it yes, like literally it takes your breath away. Yes. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> All right, we got a great show in store for you. How to bring uh, the energy from the yoga mat into your daily life. And look at what movement you could do into your daily life. <laughs> Plus, our favorite chemistry professor is back. He is going to be showing us how to have some fun with all of that static electricity instead of being frustrated with it this winter. Because <laughs> I've definitely been through some mornings <laughs> where I've been brushing my hair and I'm like, why won't you stay down? Could we get a good pic of you with your hair just like all throwed out? All staticky? Yeah. I think that, sure. I'll try to get, okay, the next good. time it goes staticky, I'll try to get a picture of it. No, I'm, I'm usually today, pretty honest today about Today, he'll get you all staticky. Your oh. hair will just throw out. I'm sure, I'm sure it will work. I don't have that much hairspray in there today. Not too much. <laughs> all right, first though, let's get a little weather update because, it, I mean, it is chilly. It's <laughs> going to continue to be chilly. Justin, good morning, my man. And good morning, Chris and Christy. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we were pretty cold today into the Fargo area, Southern Valley, close to 20 below zero for a low temperature, much worse, especially as you make your way into Lakes Country and into the Northern Valley. Let's take a look at that Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot in Fargo. Uh, we are seeing mostly clear skies, and that is going to be the story as we go throughout the day as temperatures rise through the double digits below zero. We'll see a high temperature near nine below into the Fargo area, and then we'll lose the sun and temperatures will be back down into the deep freeze for another night. Expect more of the same to start off Saturday morning. Now, a wind chill advisory in effect for the entire viewing area. This is until noon on Saturday. Wind chill value is 25 to 40 below zero, and that can cause frostbite in as little as 30 minutes on exposed skin. Temperature outside right now looks like this. We are at 17 below in Fargo, closer to 20 below Jamestown Valley City, 18 below zero at Detroit Lakes, making your way into the Northern Valley, 17 below Grafton and Grand Forks, 23 below out toward Thief River Falls, Faustin, and into the Devil's Lake area. Let's take a look at the wind speeds right now, mainly from the north or west. Not that bad, 5 to 10 miles per hour, but when it is that cold, it doesn't take much to cause these uh, dangerous wind chills. We are still seeing wind chill values uh, between 40 and 50 below zero. Devil's Lake, Langdon, the Canduary, we're still seeing more of the same right now. Uh, mainly, we're seeing wind chills between, say, 20 and 50 below zero. Coldest uh, as you make your way into the northern valley and into portions of north central Minnesota, but still pretty cold wind chills into the 30s below zero Jamestown and Valley City. So definitely bundle up if you're spending any time outside. We are seeing mainly clear skies around, just a few passing clouds just off to the south and to the west of Ellendale. And uh, we're staying mainly dry. The snow is missing us off to the south into South Dakota. High pressure is working its way in. It is staying off to our west, and this is what we saw to start off the year. When the high stays to the west, we get that flow from the north that just pumps down really cold air from the Arctic, and that is going to happen, uh, continue to happen as we go through the, the day today. Highs into the single digits below zero, and then as we go through tonight, another very cold overnight period, very frigid overnight period, where temperatures tomorrow a few degrees colder to start off 
uh, compared to today and uh, high temperatures uh, again into the single digits below zero for your Saturday. Here's a look at the afternoon planner. Temperatures between 1 and 13 below zero into the Southern Valley. Sunny skies, very cold, 3 to 9 below zero for a high temperature this afternoon into Lakes Country and 5 to 10 below zero into northwestern Minnesota. Sunny skies as you make your way into the Northern Valley and Devil's Lake Basin. Even colder, 10 to 15 below zero in most places. We got one more very cold night, a low of 25 below zero into the Fargo area with a, a high again near eight below on Saturday and then warming temperatures all night through Sunday when we get up to nine above and that'll uh, spark off some snow showers and then back into the deep freeze Monday and Tuesday, low temperatures 20 to 30 below, high temperatures five to 10 below and then more warm air finally makes its way in. Snow showers possible Wednesday, but temperatures back into the teens as we keep partly the mostly cloudy skies as we go through midweek and late week next week. So how cold was it? How cold was it this morning when I was out there? Cuz our car was stuck at minus 13 and mm -hmm. I swear it was colder than that. It was probably 17 below 0, 18 below 0. Oh, bruh. <laughs> and that's not even including the wind chill. Right. Yeah. And the wind chill was worse. Wind was like 5 to 10, so we saw wind chills couple of years ago so I had on my grandma's pink knitted scarf and then I had on my new pink hat and I had on my coat like and I just felt like one of these people I was just trying to scrunch <laughs> up our, as, as much as I could. After our ugly Christmas holiday sweaters do you really need the scarf? Yeah I do I need to cover all those chins that people <laughs> saw us make. Thank you very much I love Justin he just like get me off there, the street like, right. as fast as possible thanks Justin. <laughs> Hey, don't forget that the Monster Jam Triple Threat Series is coming to the Fargo Dome very soon. So you can get yourself registered on our website to maybe win some tickets. All you have to do is go to valleynewslive.com or nda.tv <clears throat> and each winner is going to receive four vouchers to a Monster Jam show either on February 2nd or February <clears throat> 3rd. And can you believe it? We're already on January 19th, so that's coming up soon. <laughs> Wait, it's January 19th? Today? Twelve. Oh my gosh! I was thinking you already. Just took my breath away. Yeah. My brain. <laughs> it got frozen this morning. <laughs> but the good news is, Christy Larson, come, come on. on down. You're the next contestant on the. Press is right. <laughs> um, there you were. It's another contest that we're doing, so we're giving away some prices right live tickets. Um, so you can uh, sign yourself up. Each winner is going to also receive four tickets to that event at the Chester Fritz Auditorium in Grand Forks on February 8th. So maybe if you get yourself <clears> registered <throat> for both, maybe you're a winner of both. You go to Monster Jam and then you that go be... to Price is Right Live. And I heard that they have a lot of fun with these traveling Price is Right shows and people. So is this like a tryout blast. where if you do really well, then you can end up being no, on the show? No, this is like a traveling one. Oh. And then the real show's out in California. That's cool. So you're not going to get Drew, but at the same time, you're going to have people who do this and travel around to different cities and hand out different prizes and stuff. All right, we got to show you this, uh, a UND marriage proposal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I give major props to the guys that do this kind of stuff, but it also makes a lot of guys look bad so you're kind of like okay man we love you but you know come on so this is pretty awesome an aviation student up at UND uh, had some family and friends paint uh, I guess in the snow you know will you marry me of course and so they went up in the plane him and his uh, they shoveled it oh they shoveled marry me sorry yeah. in there but either way it is fantastic Who's that stand in the heart? Like his friends that did it, you think? Or? Well, so he proposed to his high school sweetheart, which was Olivia, um, and then the family helped carve this out. Now, they carved out the words, marry me, and over <clears throat> the giant heart in the snow, and then they took flight so that she could see it, and then she said yes. So I'm gonna guess, um, we hear- His family did it? I'm gonna guess that they went back and had someone else go up and take their picture in it after she said yes. But we don't know those details. That's a we selfie just know, right there. We just know they said yes after she, look at, she's got the ring on her finger too. Love that. So after they went up, then she was excited. They Yay! look stoked, don't they? They do look so happy. I love proposal stories. <laughs> Yay. All right, the Minnesota Vikings have created a Bring It Home campaign Bring aiming home. to lift the uh, team into the hometown Super Bowl, which would just be 
I was talking to a friend about this yesterday. Think about this for the Vikings fans. They have a chance to beat the Saints on s this weekend, mm -hmm. which the Saints beat them in that crazy NFC Championship game where they had too many. I don't want to even go there. <sighs> then uh, at one point, the Falcons, the Dirty Birds, uh, beat them in the championship as well. And so they didn't go to the Super Bowl. So they have a chance possibly to play the Saints this weekend. If the Falcons beat the Eagles, then they'll beat the Falcons, and then they will be in the Super Bowl in the U.S. Bank Stadium on February 4th. And they'd be the first team to do that, Ever. right? The very first team yes. to go to a Super Bowl when it was hosted in their own city. So not only would that be neat, it, but then if they win it, they win, if they the win city will the go Super insane. Bowl, that would be awesome. And speaking of the Super Bowl, what you're looking at right now is that the Twin Cities is lighting things up. So with this Bring It Home campaign, um, the team arranged for Twin Cities landmarks to glow purple. <clears throat> so we have everything from the IDS Center, Nicollet Mall, Target Corporate Headquarters, I-35W Bridge, uh, of course, the um, U.S. Bank Stadium, Mall of America. They're all going to be love shining that. that purple spirit. Which I, I think is good. love that. And if you are a fan of the commercials during the Super Bowl, if that's the only part of the Super Bowl you care about, you're going to want to keep your eyes out for this. So Cindy Crawford is back for Super Bowl 52. Oh the goodness. legendary supermodel has recreated her iconic 1992 Super Bowl commercial for Pepsi. So this is her. This <clears> is back in 1992. Um, 26 years ago, the tank top clad Crawford made a... Uh, major waves in this kind of sassy commercial. She f was driving the red Corvette, or red uh, <laughs> Lamborghini, um, went to a roadside <clears throat> vending machine to cool off with some Pepsi. So the new commercial is going to debut during the Super Bowl, again, February 4th. And it also features another special guest, Michael Jackson. Ooh, in the commercial. The ad, yep, the ad features footage from the King of Pops, a famous 1984 Pepsi commercial. I hope they don't recreate that one, though. Do you remember what happened with that commercial? Mm -mm. His hair caught on fire because of the fireworks that went off. Really? Yes. It was no. like the, just, it was horrible. Oh, okay, check no. this out. So this, we all know it's been snowing here. So mm -hmm. yesterday I woke up and I want to show off this cool new, um, I don't know, I kind of created this snow blower. He's just the best dad ever. Yeah, the way that you go ahead and clean up your, There's your, Chris yeah. So there I am. I grew a beard a couple days ago. Yeah. And here I am cleaning up my yard. <laughs> this is so great. This guy's got a, I guess a man-made kind of created his own Ice little rink. Zamboni for his backyard skating rink. And has this Zamboni <laughs> that he used to turn his lawn into this ice rink for his family. Chris Bird. Oh, is that his just, lawnmower? You're, you're a family man, aren't you? I, I am very good with tools, he yes. He used parts from his mini excavator and scrap wood and metal from an old bed frame to... Uh, make the rink then he added some water tanks and then of course the blade for scraping the ice and there there you are that and there's is so Isabella great. in the purple yeah. and, and our neighbor yeah there's a neighbor boy that lives next to us and so we invited him over and I was gonna guess it was Chase because doesn't Andrea's son Chase <laughs> yeah play hockey? Chase, Chase there's is Isabella and Chase a they're great playing hockey, hockey together <laughs> That was actually a Canadian dad. It wasn't actually Chris Berg. Hey, what's up with a Canadian was, dad? And that's what I said. I was like, what's up with all these Canadian dads doing these awesome things? The, yesterday it, we showed the ship yeah. made out of all those 200 and some ice blocks. Now today they're making ice rinks with handmade Zambonis. Zambonis. <laughs> I don't know. They should take the guy to, to South Korea for the Olympics just to show it off. That would be cool. My dad did do, he would... Um, we had like a little hill in our backyard. We used to have one. And so we did get to go sledding there. But my dad does, um, he scoops paths for our dog to go outside in. Because sometimes the snow gets too high too and she's high. not the biggest dog. <laughs> so he scoops her little paths and then he gives her options. So like, oh, does she want to go left or right today? And then he'll like make little circles. Does he put like little snacks at the end no, too? No, and... but he just like, that's what he's doing. <laughs> so I'm sure there's lots of people at home who are like, I do that for my dog. But <laughs> that's what my dad does because he has no kids at home too. It. Does he put like Doing little snow. boots on him too? No, or? Libby doesn't wear the boots. She doesn't like them. She does wear a coat every now and then again and then she just stands there. She's like, why am I in this coat today? Because it's cold outside. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we're going to show you how to take your yoga, uh, what you do in yoga, to everyday, can you do that again, life situations. <sighs> Breathe with us. Namaste.